Hello everyone, Brian Garcia here with Acuity again. Uh, the topic of the blog session this week is managing data with Team Center and we're going to be talking about bomb comparing. And uh, let's get right into it. So as we open up the Team Center client once again, um, I'm logged in as a user mean Ed today and we're in just as a designer. And for this demonstration, I've created a folder here and uh, done a search prior to it. But um, the assembly I'm going to be working with today has got two revisions in its item. So we've got a revision A and a revision B. And so there's not a lot of you know, information we can get from just looking at uh, the item revisions from this view. We go ahead and click on the different item revisions and we can get some other properties. Team Center is using the information that's in here and using the tools to maybe compare different pieces of data to see what's going on. So um, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to send over this bill of material or this bomb over to the structure manager, which is going to be the topic of conversation today. So once I open that up, I can see this in your traditional bomb view where I can open up these different um, sub-assemblies and we can see all the different individual components. So there's just a few components in each of these sub-assemblies that make up this revision A. So, and then another nice feature is that you can turn on this data panel and this is going to go ahead and open up the graphics window so we can visualize these components and see what they look like. So, and just like in CAD, you can kind of rotate these things and move them around to kind of see what this thing looks like. So again, you know, the Kind of the nice thing about Team Center is that you don't have to be a CAD user to look at some of this data. You know, you can be in part of uh, the team at your company and you'll be able to do searches on part numbers and find, you know, fills of materials, assemblies, and, and visualize this information and, uh, and, and talk about what you need to do next with the design. Uh, the next thing I would like to do is view the revision D of this assembly. So to do that, we're going to open up a split window here. We're going to shuffle some things around. Okay, so now they're going to occur revision A with our graphically shown assembly. And so I'm going to go ahead and highlight that particular window, empty window, and we're going to go ahead and send over the revision B assembly to the structure manager. So again, we're just looking at the traditional bomb view hierarchy here. But as we can see already, this list is a little shorter, right? So if I'm going to go ahead and turn on that data panel again. We're going to view the graphics, that particular part. Go ahead and do a fit all. And then we can rotate this thing. So just like looking at this, comparing, you can already see there's some components missing. So again, this is just a simple, ver uh, uh, simple example here that we're taking a look at. Um, and so you can imagine, you know, if you had hundreds and, and upon thousands of parts that you're evaluating on your design, it can be very tedious to try to find what's different between two different assemblies. So here, we can graphically see it's different. We can evaluate our fill material. But to kind of prove my point, um, you can use a tool in here called just compare. And I'm going to go ahead and compare both of these bonds at the lowest level, and I'm going to ask it to generate a report for me. So if I click OK, let's reshuffle some of this stuff around us again. So now I'm looking at both of them, and I can see that there's actually, we're highlighted here, some components that are actually included in revision A, but that aren't in the revision B. If we go down to our report, we can kind of take a look at this. So you can see in this bill of material, that there's actually two quantities of 164 and one quantity of 163. So if I look at my report, I can see going from revision A to B that there's actually, you know, one goes to zero, two goes to zero, meaning that those have been removed from the revision B top level assembly. So again, just a simple example of what you can do inside of Team Center using Structure Manager and comparing two different bills and materials. So I, I find that this is a good tool that you know a lot of people don't really know. They know about Structure Manager, 
maybe they know about bomb compare, but then also running this report is kind of, you know, the main, uh, I guess, uh, thing that you can kind of get out of this. The, the, the main takeaway is that you can analyze this and you can imagine, again, to emphasize my point, hundreds upon thousands of parts that if you're evaluating in a top level assembly, this is definitely is going to be a big friend to you as you're working through your design and, and rolling revisions and, and trying to kind of get down to the bottom of, of uh, your design and, and seeing what's changed. Because as we all know, um, kind of the bottom line is that you know we've all had our experiences where something's been manufactured or assembled to the wrong bill of material and that kind of thing. So this kind of takes the guesswork out of all this. So um, again, thanks for your attention here at the Acuity Blogspot. We're always happy to show you anything new. Go ahead and send a, an email in to us. You can contact most of us technical guys at the support line. Um, and the email there is support at acuityinc.com. And uh, it's been a pleasure showing this information to you. And uh, we'll see you again next week or the month ahead. Thanks a lot, everybody.